stop worrying. I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, at least let me phone the hospital, see how she's doing. No, that would be a really stupid idea. But it's my fault she's in there. You've got to stop saying that. You didn't hear the noise when she hit her head. Every time I tried to sleep in last night, all I could hear was that thud. Which is why you can't do anything that was going to implicate you to the police. Yeah, Charity's right. What she did to our dad, what we've been through because of her, is worse than anything you could have done. Yeah, but two wrongs don't make a right. Oh, Tracy, they're completely different. Our dad's dead because of that woman. It's way worse than that, though, isn't it? She's parading around the village trying to get everyone to blame your dad. He died a thief in everyone's eyes, thanks to her. She stopped us grieving for him properly and she made sure no one else could either. Trace, she's the one to blame for this mess, not you. She's a thief, she's a killer, she's a liar. The two of them deserve whatever they get. The whole thing feels like a total nightmare. Yeah, but we know the truth now. We know that our dad was innocent. You know, we ought to be shouting that from the rooftop. Yes, but we can't, can we? Because no one else knows. Yeah, but we do. And that's all that matters. And that's all you should be concentrating on. Just forget about Kerry and think about our dad. You've got a nerve showing your face after what we found out about you. I'm just here to collect some overnight stuff. Right, so take it and go. I still can't believe what you and Kerry did. I'm not looking for a fight. Oh, I bet. You've managed to duck the truth for so long, you must have thought you'd got away with it. But you're going to have to face up to it now. I've been facing up to what happened for weeks. Believe us, I never wanted any of this. I was supposed to believe that when you hadn't even had the guts to come clean about it. Oh, you've got a cheek. After what you did to my mum? Oh, come on, she deserved it, and worse. Didn't you feel ashamed when you heard people calling our dad a thief when it was you that stole the money? I told you I didn't want it to be like this. Yeah, well, you should have told people the truth. You blame us for not owning up to what we did when you're just as bad. Trying to cover up what you did to me, ma'am. You and Kerry were the ones covering up for stealing from a charity and killing a man. Your mum just had an accident. She was pushed, and she ended up in hospital thanks to Tracy. It wasn't an accident, it was assault. Well, maybe we should ask the coppers what they think. You really are pathetic. Trying to switch blame for all this on a Tracy. She put my mum in hospital. There's the overnight clothes. Anything else you need, I'll leave it on your doorstep. Now get out. I'll, uh, go and get the rest of Carrie's stuff. I don't think you should do that yet. We're not thinking of letting her move back in when she comes out of hospital. What if she never comes out of hospital? No, Amy's just trying to scare you, to try and justify what they've done. You have got nothing to feel guilty about. But Amy's right, I did push Kerry. I was so angry with her. Yeah, of course you were, and she deserved it. She's lucky to even be in hospital. She should be in prison. Tracy, look at me. You are not guilty of anything. But Amy's going to ring the police. What if they think I'm guilty? They won't. And Amy wouldn't dare, cos then they'd start looking into what she did. But I told you, she, she's just trying to scare you. Yeah, well, it's worked. I just need some air. Oh, we're just starting to worry about you. Do you feel any better after you walk? Not really. I, uh, I heard uh, Carrie's definitely been kept in hospital. They're just being cautious. She'll probably be home tomorrow. And what if she isn't? Well, then it'd be their word against yours. It'd never get to court. Yeah, stop panicking. Chase, they're probably in hospital right now having a laugh about it, just thinking they've frightened you off the scent. They don't deserve any sympathy. I just want it all to be over. 